Get ready for something incredible. Today I will show you how to add awesome animations to your React projects with just two lines of code. It's simple and you are going to love it. So let's jump into the computer screen. So we are going to apply auto animation in my to do application. Here as you can see that I have created a sample to do application. So whenever I will add my to do so this will add in my to do list. So as you can see that there is no animation and uh, this looks ok ok. For example when I will delete this so this is deleting when I will uh, check this so this is going to check section. So what we are going to do in this video. So we are going to convert this normal to do ap application with auto animation. So this will look awesome. So in the end uh, we will see how we can achieve this output as you can see whenever I will add my to do in there there we got a cool animation when I will delete this we are getting a cool delete animation there when I will check this we are getting the checked animation there. So we will see how to add this animation so first thing first I will just uh, give you a, a rough idea how my code works. So as you can see that there, this is my main function and I have created a to do function to do there in that to do I am getting a to do's and after that mapping this to do's these to do's. So in that my uh, main function what I have done there I have just created a simple add to do remove to do and uh, handle uh, toggle task handle toggle task function will like checked or unchecked and uh, after that uh, what I have done I have just uh, created a simple form inside that form I have an input and uh, there, after that there is a button after that uh, we, what we are doing we are mapping this to do we are mapping this to do and after that uh, we are just giving a simple uh, divider this is the divider after that uh, we are mapping the unchecked uh, these are the checked to do I guess you have you got the rough idea so we will see how to add animation in that one. So for that we will use auto animation library. So this is the library that we are going to use to uh, animate our react application. So as you can see that in there in that example we need to just import uh, this one. After that uh, we need to use this const and uh, give variable name and uh, use this auto animate function there and we have to just pass the ref on that div there, there we want uh, animation. So let's uh, see how we can achieve this. So first thing first we will install this npm package. So I have copied uh, that npm auto animate. So let's go to our code and uh, paste it paste it there. So npm install and after that this. So I have already installed uh, this one. So after installing uh, after installing this go, go to there and uh, copy this line. After that paste into a VS code and uh, after that uh, you have to copy this one and uh, where you want to animate this go to that place so i want to animate in that uh, function uh, in that function where i want to animate so main thing is that this is my section tag inside my uh, section tag i am mapping the mapping all my to do's so here uh, the data is changing like uh, we are getting more to do's and deleting to do's so on that div all everything is happening so here we will pass ref and inside that ref we will pass this uh, animate parent function okay when i will save this and uh, refresh this so as you can see that i am getting an auto animate there when i will delete so see this i haven't uh, do anything i have just i have just imported import uh, this use animate and uh, after that I have created a variable for that for that uh, auto animate parent and after that uh, I have just passed the reference for that div that where I want to animate. So in my case uh, what I am doing I am mapping the to do's there what I have done there I just go there and uh, in my parent uh, where the to do's as to do's are creating and deleting and uh, where, where we are passing into the checked checked uh, section so on that parent section I have added the reference so this will automatically detect uh, where uh, we want to animate so as you can see that uh, this is working perfectly fine so when I will add tools so this will add 
like this so let's see what are the possible animations we will get from that auto animate library so as you can see that they have also given the example in their website so this is the without animation and uh, see this example see this example with auto animate when i will cut this see this beautiful animations that uh, they are showing and uh, after that uh, they have also given uh, example with this one see this it means we can animate almost anything that we want there we want uh, like getting more data or state is changing so we can easily add the animations there let's see again how we can uh, animate it again in a simple manner first thing first we have imported this use animate from that library that we have installed after that uh, we need to create a variable for that and after that we just have to pass the reference for that where uh, we want to animate so in my case i have passed uh, in uh, my section tag and in my output what is the section tag Let let's just see if i will give border to so as you can see that this is my section tag that uh, we are getting so inside uh, this is the parent section that uh, this is containing like checked section and without checked sections so uh, we need to apply the animation there so that's why i have i have passed the reference there so as you can see that this is the simplest way to apply animation in your react application you don't have to do anything just to import this animation and pass the reference if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome contents like this until then i will see you next time